Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video is going to be a short video, just kind of giving my first impressions of Hogwarts Legacy, uh, specifically running on the PC. So as everybody knows, Hogwarts Legacy came out, it officially comes out Friday, but it came out in early access, uh, basically midnight Tuesday for console players. But PC players weren't able to access the game until technically one o'clock but i actually didn't start playing the game till three because even though we did a preload there was another load that had to be downloaded and because everybody was on the servers downloading even though it's supposed to be affected by my speed not anybody else's uh the steam network seemed to be a little cluttered it took about two hours to download it was 72 gigs but usually for me 72 gigs takes about 25 to 30 minutes so <laughs> but nonetheless as you can see here with the footage i have been playing um, about level 17 now and on PC there were some concerns that the game would run a little choppy some people were experiencing choppiness now look I am running this on a RTX 3060 um, I'm currently I'm leave, I have left it at the default settings I did turn on ray tracing and I did put I would say more of a custom setting I did set high on certain things there were certain features I took off like you know motion blur and things like that but for the most part, I've left it at what the settings were, and it was basically at medium. And uh, what, like I said, with the exception that I turned some other features on, and then I turned on ray tracing. And so far, I have not really experienced any stuttering. I think there was maybe twice that it stuttered a little, like just like a half a second. And that's only happened twice so far in the first 17 levels. I would say the first, what, maybe six to eight hours that I've played the game. Now, uh, the game in and of itself, it's nice to finally say that for once, a game that has been hyped up lives up to the expectations. That's not something we've been able to say about many games, many AAA games. Uh, you know, you think about Forspoken, which I did enjoy Forspoken, but it did not live up to the hype. Let's be very clear about that. And, um, you know, think back to Cyberpunk. While Cyberpunk is in a great place now, and while I did enjoy the game, when I originally played it on launch, it obviously fell short of expectations. Hogwarts Legacy does not. If anything, right now, there's some areas of the game that are actually exceeding my expectations. And, you know, it's it's funny. It's It has a lot of charm, you know, and I think that's important. I think that's something that a lot of games lack now is just charm. You just, it puts a smile on your face when you play it. You know, it, it's not an overly challenging game, but it's not easy either. Like. The combat is not difficult. It's just about muscle memory. It's about setting your spells and kind of remembering where you put them so that way you can pull off a combo. And there's a lot of action going on during fights. So sometimes you you forget that people can attack you while you're attacking somebody else. So it's just a lot of uh, memory, but the combat is a lot of fun. It's very fresh because of the way you can combo different spells. And a lot of what the game has is just a lot of great side content, you know, uh, running around, uh, discovering things. You know, most of your experience comes from collections. and But these are collections that have meaning. You know, if you connect, uh, collect enough things, you can unlock different transmogs for your gear. And that's basically, you know, how you can kind of fashion yourself to look a certain way. Uh, gear is plentiful, but it's not as overly complicated as other games. Your gear can get stats later, but nothing that's like overly it's not overwhelming you know what i mean like same thing with with the talents you know the talents are it's a very simple talent tree you can you, you're very limited there's no respecting and whatever you get you're going to commit to but to be quite honest it's the one game where you're not going to feel penalized if you don't you know if you get I guess if you want to call it a wrong build, looking at the skill list, I'm not going to give that away, but looking at the talents and the skills and all that, there really is no wrong build. It's just a preference. You know, you're going to look at certain spells you're using the most, and you're going to basically want to enhance that. You're going to look at certain uh, trees that you want to unlock, and you want to go that direction. And and that's it. It's really, really not that hard, but it is important. That's the, that's the cool thing is that it's not overly complicated, but it is important to enhance your skills because um, combos is the name of the game in this when it comes to magic battles. I mean, you can 
You can spam, you know, RT all you want, but you're not going to do a lot of damage. It'll take you forever. But if you can combo things, and especially if you combo the same spell classes, um, you know, you can do some pretty extraordinary damage. The story so far is is very good. It feels like I'm playing a Harry Potter movie, only it's not Harry Potter. I'm my character's Harry Potter. So I love that. I love that. It's it's literally like watching a movie. But at the same time, let me not say that I don't want people to think, oh, is that all cutscene? No, it's not. It's just it everything just blends in so well together. You know, the story, interactions, um, side quests, they all have a significant meaning thus far like i said i'm not at the end of the game yet but so far almost 20 levels in and i gotta say uh it's been a very smooth run on the pc again i do have a 3060 uh it's not a 40 series card but 3060 is still very much relevant and it's running perfectly fine it, it is now again i'm running it on medium but it's such a beautiful game i don't feel the need to crank it up any so i i can't say that i've given it a stress test but I would say if you're running a 30 series RTX or higher, you could probably pull off pretty high settings. So I have other games that are more graphically intense than this one. I run Cyberpunk at high settings with everything on, and Cyberpunk runs smooth. So I don't see why this game wouldn't. Uh, any negatives about this game? Um, I haven't found any that I feel are worth mentioning. They would just be nitpicks and i guess my only nitpick is some of the characters facially just look weird like they just some character animations like face wise look great and then some just look like doofuses like i don't know how else to put it but beyond that you know i don't like i said i don't want to make this a super long because it's not a full review i'm just kind of giving you my first impressions but most importantly letting you know that my experience on the pc has been very good it looks beautiful even at medium settings and i'll probably crank it up a little bit just to kind of that way when i do my final review i can finally say whether or not it does run but the other thing too is that i believe there is supposed to be a day one patch on friday and there might be some issues that they might address for pc for other players who are experiencing issues so i i guess you know when i do my review then I'll kind of mention where that was and how it corresponds to that update. So I'll probably crank up the settings before Friday to, to see if there's any stagger. Basically, the computer's running fine. I mean, the game's running fine on my PC. But again, it all depends what kind of hardware you have. You know, um, I would say 30 and 40 series and up RTX cards shouldn't have a problem. Uh, anything below that is probably where you're running into issues, but you'll have to kind of figure that out yourself. But I would say even running it at medium settings, um, it, the game is beautiful, especially once you get your broom, you start flying. Forget it. That is, uh, that, I don't have footage of that here because I had unlocked that right after I had recorded this footage. But it is just, it's a charming game. It's a lot of fun. It really makes you, you know, kudos to, to WB and... The studios uh this new studio that made this game this is like their first huge game and they did a great job but otherwise um i'll have a full review out for the game in a couple of weeks when i finally finish it and i do have a, re a final review coming for forsaken hopefully by monday if i can actually get back there and finish it because i am at the end of the game but now hogwarts has my attention so we'll see how i'm going to work that out anyway that's it for this video i hope you enjoy it let me know in the comment section below have you uh are you going to be playing Hogwarts on Friday, or if you are not playing it already, and uh, what do you think about it so far? Uh, this is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Click here to watch more content. Don't forget to leave a comment. Also, make sure you like and share this video. If you want to know when the next video is up, click the notification bell next to the subscribe button. And most of all, make, make sure, sure to click, click that, that subscribe button for regular content. content.